Welcome to The Awakening, The Daily Show with Lauren. <laughs> the Daily Show with Lauren. How are you today? I feel, uh, I woke up and I didn't feel too good. Um, I felt, I uh, just didn't feel too good. Um, we had turned everything off in the house and I'd gone to bed and I um, don't know, I just didn't feel too good when I got up, um, but now I'm feeling better. I got up and I'm starting to do my work. And today I've got a great rehearsal with Encounters. Um, we've got a Zoom, we're coming together at five o'clock for the great new musical about mental health recovery. So how can I help you wonderful, beautiful humans today? How can I help my beautiful human race, my beautiful planet today? as we are still in lockdown and we are waking up. We are waking up. Okay, so I'll tell you what happened today. And I don't know if it was a result or not, but I don't know, I kind of felt a little bit like a result. Um, as you know, I've done a huge program about the five thing. And I'm sending out this message because it'll go on again tonight before the kids go back to school. So I'm doing my bit. If you're a parent, please, please, please check out if they've done anything to the routers inside the schools while the kids have been on lockdown. Uh, not just putting up masks, but inside the school, you have a right to know what's going on with your kids' schools. And if they tell your kids to wear masks, then please, you must... Be really careful about that because children, um, there are cases of people doing exercise and running with masks on and the results were not good. You cannot wear a mask. A mask is not healthy, okay? And really there's nothing to worry about. The virus is gone now. The sun has cleared everything. The, f the five thing is what we need to be concerned about. But once we join together, and have not got a chance in hell with the human spirit and the way we are. So, today, I spoke to my neighbors over the fence. And I said to them, if you don't start listening about the five thing, you're going to be locked down again. And I believe it's 100% that before the elections in America, if people don't start listening, and they don't start taking some action around it, um, we will all be locked down. The whole world will get locked down again. This is my intuition and this is my work. And people um, that I'm working with, experts. So you need to really get out there and do what needs to be done. Okay? You need to do what's been done. So I said this to my neighbors and one of them said, oh, I'm a technician. Uh, I'm a technician, I work for phone companies, and there's nothing to be worried about. And I said, well, actually, there's a huge amount to be worried about if you don't get out there and stop it. It's a huge burst of radiation. And, you know, it's not good. And I'm, this is just, I'm doing my work here. And I'm helping humanity. There's nothing in it for me except I want to stay healthy and I want you all to have long, happy lives, healthy lives. Okay, that's it. From the heart. There's nothing else in this for me. I never get paid a penny to pass on this information. Nothing. All I do is I love humanity. I love you all so much. From the heart, I love you. I want you to be well. And I just think that this is a wake-up call. And also, I want to stay well. So we need to, you know, all of us together to join in this massive consciousness awakening. And that's it. So my message today is very clear. And um, what I said to the neighbors. And so anyway, I came off the phone. I felt a little bit like maybe they were laughing at me or maybe thinking, oh, she's one of them. 
And so coming into the light, I rang up one of my friends who I did the interview with, who's an amazing, absolutely amazing holistic uh, healer. And this is what had gone on to my profile. I'm going to read it to you because people are starting to listen. They're starting to watch moving on TV. And uh, this is what they put on for me. This is Lauren, an amazing lady who owns a YouTube TV channel, Moving On TV, Alternative Media. Subscribe and follow if you can. Some amazing interviews have been done about subjects very close to all you guys' hearts. This platform needs to get out there. I do a lot of work for her. We'll be doing a hair mineral analysis that we will be documenting. She's quirky, unique, and a special person with a heart of gold and positive energy. I hope her platform takes off. Everything she does is for the good of humanity. Known her for about five years. Thanks for asking. And this is the message on my phone uh, from Rebecca Colodial, a woman who has been interviewed about vitamin D and how amazing it is and how to use it with the sun, obviously. And also a, a big interview that's going on about the five thing with Mark Steele about how she heals people all the time. Okay, so I just wanted to show that to you. And now I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do a message from heaven for you. So from your loved ones in heaven, for all my beautiful, beautiful viewers out there. A message from heaven for you if you're watching this today. I'm shuffling the cards and I'm going to do a message for you. Okay, here we go. We support you as you cleanse and clear both inside and out. We support you, and isn't it synchronistic? 34, 3, and 4, 7. Today is the day of rest, the Sabbath. <coughs> In the Jewish religion, today is the Sabbath, and it's a day of rest, but you cleanse and clear both inside and out. Time to clear out everything, guys. Time to get detoxified and clean. Okay? And that's a beautiful message. And I'm going, I don't usually read the, the book because I use my, use my intuition. So anyone is here. It's time to clear out the past and let go. This is a message from heaven, um, which is number 34. The objects you surround yourself with can be heavy energy wise and really weigh you down. Do you still own belongings that you inherited you don't even like? Have you gathered too much stuff around you as a type of emotional protection? Surrounding yourself with things that you love and that you find useful on your life journey will free you up to move forward, your loved ones say. We give permission to let go of things that no longer serve your best interests. Okay, that's the message from heaven today. And a message here from How to Stay Sane in a Crazy World, which is from my cards that I channel for you. From my recovery, from my massive spiritual awakening, you can get the cards from me or you can get them from the Positivity Center in Ashton Lane, from Paul and Cecile, wonderful people that have opened a beautiful Positivity Center for you to be yourself. And if you check Messengers of Light, Paul's story is, in, is on there. The beautiful story of Paul McDonald uh, and why he does this work for all of us. Okay. And let us choose a card. And the card is nature. Nature. Today I will spend a little time enjoying nature in whichever way I can. There's your card for today. I am going to connect in some way to nature. I may walk in the park. Or if I can. I will sit in my garden and listen to the birds. I may gaze at a flower and enjoy the color, the beauty of the aroma. Nature is green for a reason. Green is the color of love. And the heart is nature, is the chakra, heart chakra, sorry. 
Nature is there for us to enjoy. It's a big wonder of our beautiful world. If you are struggling to breathe physically or feel that you have no space in life, get out into nature. Sit by a tree or water, hug a tree. You will feel so much better. Do some gardening if you can. I believe that gardening helps you sleep as it connects to you. At the earth and helps you let go of the technical disturbances around us. Maybe I need to do some gardening. Actually, that is it. I'm going to have an allotment soon and I'm going to grow my own vegetables and fruit. Today, I will spend a little time enjoying nature in whichever way I can. Love you lots, darlings, my darlings, my beautiful human being friends, spiritual brothers and sisters. Love is everywhere, I can feel it. When I sit in front of this screen and do my message for today, the awakening, I feel you all there watching. Even if you're not on, uh, moving on TV, I'm asking you to come on here, subscribe, watch the awakening. This will change your life. I am passing on stuff to you that changed my life from the therapeutic community. I'm passing on the book, Simply Amazing. The book by Casey Armstrong, I Am Chapter 8. You can get this at the um, uh, Positivity Center, of course. Or from me, Paul and Susella selling this as well. And there are amazing stories in here. I just opened here in, on Jenny Beard's story, uh, who is very honest, and she works with the National Autism Academy amazing stories of in here um, there are 11 stories in here a holocaust survivor this is the new chicken soup for the soul and i am chapter eight and i have a disclaimer in here um, a new version has come out if you are my family watching this i love you and the disclaimer is that this came out when i was in a low space in a wheelchair and with a lot of negativity and a lot of pain inside me and I projected that onto my family and that's why it's in that book some of the things some of the I was very alone but now um, I don't feel that way and I made a disclaimer in the new version so if anyone reads this you need to know that I'm telling you that from the heart and I'm now in connection with my family again and I do not hold the same, some of the same opinions. Uh, drastic opinions came from a lot of pain and a lot of suffering while I was in a wheelchair. And when Casey interviewed me and I was alone, apart from my husband, my cats, and a couple of friends that stood by me, and I will name them. And Sarah, I love you, my beautiful soul sister. You were there for me when I was in the wheelchair. You contacted me, even though I wasn't able to stay in touch. And I love you to bits. Ignatio, thank you for coming around every weekend and bringing fruit and taking care of me and giving me the courage to, to, to believe that I would come out of that wheelchair. Thank you to my beautiful husband who stood by me, never left my side. My cats, Peace and Ellie. Uh, who else was there for me? Um, Facebook, all my friends on Facebook, and those of you that I didn't know, obviously, I cannot thank you. But now, since I, I just, all my gratitude goes to Paul and Cecil at the Positivity Center, uh, who gave me the opportunity to release my grief um, over a period of about three years, I think around losing dad and losing the family and, and huge amounts of pain and suffering. All the amazing people that I met there, uh, to my beautiful, beautiful friends who came back after the wheelchair, Rohan and Debbie, and oh, Francis, 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 thank you Francis for being there from the beginning of time in the wheelchair, doing the PF in the wheelchair with me. And, and since the lockdown, um, I want to thank the same people. I want to thank, um, I want to thank um, Bodhis, Katha, Angie for being there for me by my side, Louise, uh, all the amazing Rebecca, 
the amazing people I'm bringing into my life. You all know who you are. And I am so grateful for my tribe for being there with me, going through this Lenny. I love you all so much. Uh, Shannon, Shannon Shepherd, for giving me lots of love and light. Tabitha, um, oh, just so many amazing people. John, John Wedger, Mark Steele, oh, Charlie Ward, um, all the people that are coming on Moving On TV. Um, thank you, Arjun for being in such a great place after your extraordinary life in Syria. And I love you and I know you call me mom and I'm always be your mom in some way. We broke, we broke the barrier of religion. And thank you to my in-laws for being there for me through the wheelchair, particularly my uh, niece, Becky Ottiwell, for being there for me, telling me, Auntie Lauren, you're coming out of this and you will walk again. And, all, and the beautiful nurses that came and gave me the awful fragment, <laughs> particularly May, uh, and for the wonderful healers that came into my life and gave me homeopathy and herbal medicine and kept me well. And it's just a time to say thank you. And I hope lots of you are going to send it to all of you. And, and uh, anyone who was in my life through the lockdown and kept me sane, the whole of Encounters, all of you guys that are there for me. Peter Healy, wonderful man who does the printing and supports me. Um, if I haven't said your name, it's not because I don't love you and I've forgotten you. You're in my heart and I'm trying to think of the immediate people that I've been able to turn to. Um, Unity, Kimmery and Steve and, uh, have been there for me. Ruth, Unity, Prayer Line and the Samaritan. We haven't always agreed, but the Samaritans have been there for me. Social media, as much as I have to complain against Zuki, thank you for creating Facebook, because without Facebook, where would I be? Where would I have been in the wheelchair when I did my shows? And of course, Casey and Ginny. How can I forget my beautiful Casey and Ginny? I love you lots, and I send you mwah, mwah, mwah and my beautiful friends all over the world. Um, and Jerry for helping me with dad's estate and my sister for helping me with dad's estate, helping me close the estate. I love you guys so much. Um, everyone, my nieces, I know you're not in my life, but I love you, everyone. And I pray that you start to take this stuff seriously. You can block me or not watch the things that I'm putting out. But I'm telling you that these things may save your life. They may save the life of someone you love. I do not put this stuff out because I don't believe in it. You see, one of the reasons I know this is true is because from my own health and my own body, this body that I was given, I love it to bits, but it's not always been easy to live with. It's not easy to live inside the shell that I've been given and I'm working on it. I've given it loads of love and loads of compassion. And, um, and yet I, there are days now when I can't be in the house, I have to turn everything off, all the electricity, I have to turn the electricity, the Wi-Fi, and if I hold this thing with 4G, I get sick, I get dizzy, and that's just 4G. And lately, I'm getting feeling sicker and um, I go on to the bed and positive to center and it does help me a lot but I'm not there yet guys and that's what why I am I believe with every bone in my body with every cell in my body that there is something going on in our world and it is not a virus it is not a virus it's something much more sinister and we are stopping it. And the big interview is coming out tonight. So watch for this big interview. It's coming out on Watchdoggy. So watch my new Watchdoggy or the Holistic Show. It's going to be on a few shows. You are going to be amazed and um, shocked. But we are all one. 
We are all one. We are all love. And as I say, you might have a go at me. You might shout at me and say, look, I don't want your rubbish. Please, that's up to you. And that, you know, but I will send it to you. I will send you this stuff. And it's up to you if you take it seriously or not. You saw the testimonial. I believe that we are strong enough and we are coming through. And I love you lots. And get out into nature because I'm going to go and listen to the birds now as I edit the most important interview of my life. And if God forbid anything ever happens to me, you know I love my life. I adore my life. I adore living. I adore everything about my life. I'm in a good place. So you need to know, I would never, ever do anything to hurt myself. And I'm saying this because Isaac Cappy, my friend, did the same thing to us. And you know what happened? We're living in a world where there's so little certainty. I am living, doing what I do because I love humanity. And my life, compared to millions of children, and you is a very tiny speck, but I love my life and that's why I'm doing this work. I am a part of the world doing the work and I believe that God is protecting me. The angels are around me and the violet flame is shielding me so nothing can affect me, my friends who love me and my animals, nothing can affect us. We are all protected and loved. And that's how I'm going to end. Welcome to Moving On TV, the TV station that is protected by love, the angels. Everyone who comes near me is protected by love, the angels, shielded by a violet flame. No harm can come to any of you. I love you lots. Namaste. Bye. Please share.